The views of the guest are that of the guests and do not represent nor reflect the views and opinions of the Lockout Men channel, the recruiter call channel, nor its host. This site content is for entertainment, educational, and informational purposes only. I'm laying in the hospital bed right now, relaxing. You, 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 yeah. you, you getting, you getting some good diagnosis though, right? No, but you know, it, it's all, it's, it's, it's going to be what it's going to be, man. Like I tell everybody, it's going to be what it's going to be. On the 24th of this month, two of us are going to walk in that surgery room and one of us is walking out. And the worst thing, this cancer that lives inside of me don't understand. I killed your brother back at 21. Now I got to kill you because I'm coming out of the operating room. No matter how many hours it takes, I'm coming home in a couple of days afterwards. But he not. You upset with me because I defeated you once in stage four. So now you send some family members to come get me again and I'm going to stage four again. My kidneys is a little weak right now, but I'm cool. All my vitals is still, you know, normal. I'm good. It's just that I was a little weak. You know, I got a little dehydrated and everything. So they try a little sneak attack, a lockout. Try a little sneak attack, but it ain't going to work. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you for listening to today's episode, man. I would give this guy a shout out, but I just can't do it because of the disrespect that he done put on this driver in a public bathroom. Yes, yeah, so in the clip we see is a young man going straight up into this young man's face, getting himself prepared for prayer to talk to his maker. He thought it would be a good idea to point the camera in front of this man's face while he's doing that in a public bathroom. Now, listen, back in the day, back in the day, I have seen that. I've seen that plenty of times. And I, I, I thought it was nasty. I thought it was inappropriate. I thought it was weird because I was new to trucking. I came into the game and I, I knew that I would see a whole bunch of stuff, but I never knew that I would come in there and see somebody washing their whole feet in the sink in the public bathroom. Okay. But for this guy right here, it was wrong. I didn't pull out my phone. I just came out and talked about it afterwards because again at that point in time a couple of years ago i didn't understand it okay but for this guy right here hear the music i walked into a love's restroom and i see this i was like hell no i don't know what bro was yapping about but i just decided to go spend one of my shower credits that was twenty dollars just to go use the restroom in the shower I can tell you what he's yapping about, bro. He's yapping about you putting the whole camera in his face. Like, if the guy was in his right mind, he could have just went out there and told the manager and say, hey, this guy in a public bathroom where it's supposed to be a private space is in there filming me in the bathroom. Now, regardless of what I was doing, if I was doing anything, we're in the bathroom. The bathroom, the only place which is sacred, the only place where there's supposed to be no cameras. So yeah, yeah, that that's what he was yapping about. He's mad because you you got a whole camera in front of this man's face. That's what he's yapping about. And then you decided to spend one of your shower credits to use the bathroom privately. Now don't get me wrong, I I I use the private bathroom too, if I, especially if I got to do a number two. But still. You disrespected this man. So again, as I said earlier, I seen that. I spoke about it. My guy, DSX, you guys know him, old school truck driver, truck driver with diesel in his blood, pulled me to the side and put me up on game. Hold on. He's preparing himself and cleaning himself to stand before the most high. So he's washing his feet. His, first, he washes his hands, his face. He cleans his nose, his ears, wipes water through his hair, and then he washes his feet last because he's getting ready to go pray and stand before the creator of all human creation. When I seen it, I thought myself was kind of weird because you know, he was doing it in a public bathroom. All right, well, before that, listen, the, the dude that uh, ran in the bathroom on the uh, Ethiopian brother, 
instead of him asking, he wanted to make a big deal out of one of a friend of mine, um, uh, Nick, Nick Sauce posted that uh, video. And he was like, yo, and y'all go in the bathroom and wash our face and brush our teeth in these sinks. Mm. I had to call him and address it as well. Because what you going to catch from running water in the sink? Mm. That's the first question. Okay. Second question is, when was the last time you cleaned your feet to stand before your Lord? Mm. Or do you stand before your Lord all stinking mm. and, and filthy? Because no matter what you want to call him, we have one God we serve. And we all may have a different name or a different language for him because of the, where we're from. All right. But when was the last time you cleaned yourself up to go stand before your Lord? But you'll go get clean to go get some coochie. Mm. You'll take a full shower to go see the judge and, and get a court case. Mm. Get dressed to go over there, but you won't do that for your 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 creator. Mm. Who gave you breath every day to stand in. Mm. So when I see things like that, it, you know, I've had people lock out, say something to me. Hey, you know, I'm not that I'm not that Muslim and I ain't that Christian. So I slap them. Mm. I I slap many of the people in the back from behind that make a comment about me washing my feet in the sink. And then they learn. So the question is, when was the last time you cleaned yourself to stand before your creator? Mm. To pray. Because Jesus did it. And y'all believe in y'all y'all believe Jesus is your 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 um prophet, but y'all say he's your God, but still in all, if that's the case, then why did he do all the things that we do and who was he praying to? Mm. He, he cleaned himself the same way we do, and he also put his forehead on the ground. So who was he praying to himself? Make that make sense. That was that was that was that was, that was very disrespectful. It's, first of all, the bathroom is supposed to be the only place there's no cameras allowed. Okay, that's one. Agreed. So he could have he could have he could have really pushed the issue. And I mean, because we're one of peace, we're peaceful people. But he could have really made a statement and, and, and called the police and everything, and had that one with the camera in the bathroom file for sexual charges. Ooh. Because the bathroom is the only place there should be no cameras. Mm. That's your, that's why it's called the privacy of the bathroom. Right there. Yes. Yeah, see, a guy like me, because like I said, I'm not that I'm not that 100 dude of uh, Islam. I'm definitely not 100 percent Christian. So I would have I'd have made a big deal out of it. I'd have got the store manager and told him, "Man, I was in the bathroom. This guy in here filming me." Mm. You know, I'd have made a real big deal out of it because the privacy of the bathroom is supposed to be your sacred spot, whether you're defecating, urinating, or washing or brushing your teeth. That's the only place if you go anywhere and there's no cameras. There's big brothers everywhere. That, that kid or whoever the dude was that filmed him on his phone and then posted it worldwide, he could be sitting in the jail cell right now facing charges Ooh. on sexual harassment. And posting it. Yeah, and he posted it worldwide. Oh. So now you're gonna lose your you're gonna lose your social media rights. Mm. You're gonna be you're gonna be on the registration. Mm. You're gonna lose your job. Mm. You're gonna lose your family. Mm. You're gonna lose everything under the sun. Why? Because you wanna be likes. You wanna build, get your likes up. Mm. You want you wanna you wanna show the world this man cleaning himself getting ready for prayer and you trying to make a joke out of it but the joke is going to be on you on the day of judgment See, we all going to stand before we all going to stand before the most high on the day of judgment and we're going to answer for all the things that we did and he going he going to get the last the muslim that was washing his feet he going to get all that guy's good deed if that guy ever did a good deed it's all going to go to that muslim that was washing his feet guys this is my guy right here that i much respect to a drill sergeant right here if you guys don't know who i'm talking to this is dsx one of the old school old school blood diesel in his blood 30 year plus truck driver 40 year plus truck driver truck driver father family this this is my guy this this is my go-to guy if i need to know anything about trucking he, he's the man that i go to right here and this man like i said before put me up on game on stuff that i be seeing out here in the trucking world i seen the exact same thing i was in the love's bathroom it was a little bit busier than what this man had has walked into 
But he was over in the cut, minding his business, washing his feet. And that's when I came out. I was like, whoa, man, hey, um, it's kind of weird washing your feet in the public bathroom, man. I was like, why he didn't go into into a shower? But again, you reached out to me. and You was like, hey, lockout, let me let me put you up on game, man, so you can understand. Be understand that dude was a uh, either Ethiopian or uh, Somalian, so they're a little bit more calm because see, I am a North American. Mm. And I come with this shit, mm. <laughs> you know. So them brothers over there, I give them the big respect because they have this, they have our religion down to the science almost of how to be humble and how to you know let people get away with stuff like that. I ain't got that yet. If old boy would have did that to me, they'd have been called a paramedic. <clears throat> because I'm not the butt of your joke, first of all. I'm getting ready to go sit down because I might be going through something right now. Exactly. You know, and I need to talk to my Lord. Mm -hmm. I need to talk to my Lord. And I want to get clean before I step on in the presence of my Lord. I don't want to step in the presence of my Lord. My feet smelling like yesterday's Funyuns. My butt's stinking. My butt's stinking. See, they're... they're, they're the, the Europeans got y'all, not you personally, but it's not a personal thing. It's that y'all, when I say y'all, I'm talking about the general overall North American Christian. They got them thinking, they, they wrote a spot in there, come as you are. But then they dig and they turn around and, and, and say, godliness is next to cleanliness. Make up your mind. Right, I heard that. I, I heard that statement plenty of times coming up in the church. Yeah. How, how are you going to say godliness is next to cleanliness, but then you say, come as you are? <laughs> Then you say things, they say, oh, God's everywhere. No, he not. Why would God be in filth? <clears throat> if godliness is next to cleanliness, why would he be in the bathroom in filth? <clears throat> why would he be in the defecate, the defecation of someone's actions? That should, that's the time he, he should, even an animal block out. If you got a dog, watch how your dog looks embarrassed to take a uh, poop in public. They be looking around because that's unnormal. Because normally they go in the woods or in the wood line because they don't want to be attacked by another animal because that's your most vulnerable state. So this man in there washing his feet, getting ready to go serve his Lord, that guy that with the camera should have put this camera away and said, no problem, brother, and either went about his business or waited until he finished. Or, or, he didn't do no about, harm to or, or, or offer, offer a shower credit to go in the in in the shower. Oh, how about that? Catch I'm pretty sure it did. I'm pretty sure I didn't I didn't see the video itself. I saw one of my my drivers, not one of my personal drivers, but a friend of mine he drives. I saw him post it and he had a negative response. He was like, yo, this is why I don't go and brush my teeth or you know, wash my face in the bathroom. So I had to call him and, you know, sit him down real quick. You fifty nine years old, why are you talking like that? That that should have never came out of your mouth, bro. Of all people, you you got a, you you got a very high following on on TikTok and um, uh, um, uh, Instagram. You 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 got great content, and now you are gonna put this up there. Now I gotta come. Now I'm gonna have to come back and and repost your post and tear your post up. And you, my friend. So the bottom line is respect other people's boundaries. That man didn't cause no physical harm to nobody. He didn't cause no damage to the state. He didn't cause no damage to the yeah. He didn't cause no property damage. He didn't cause no physical damage to nobody. And I guarantee you, I'm willing to bet a bologna sandwich to a dollar. He dried up the sink and everything way before he walked out of there. I'm willing to bet he got paper towels and dried up the area and before he left out of there. Because that's something we do. We try to make it better for the next person that's coming in behind us. Well, I'm I'm not sure if if that was the case because he was the the young man was pretty heated. So I think he pretty much jetted up out of there before. You know. First of all, you, you know one of my company slogans. I tell all my drivers, just like I tell my kids, keep it professional at all times. <clears throat> when you out there, you keep it professional at all times. Because guess what? Now the world saw you. They're not looking at the brother who washed. Now you're gonna get the you're gonna get the, the the naysayers that's gonna criticize the brother for washing his feet with feet because they don't they're not educated. But you're gonna get the ones that are that's gonna look back at you. I didn't understand it years ago when I first saw it. Yeah, I remember. I remember when I made the call to you. And what was the first thing I said to you? Would you you gonna dislike me? Because I do the same exact thing that you're talking about. I wash my feet and sink too. He was like, No, you don't. Yes, I do. It's you know, all the time we might not 
not be able to get to the thing. So we also carry jugs of water in our truck so we can pull over on the side of the road because we might be far away from the next rest area. So we gotta make do where we at. We gotta we gotta make a we gotta make a twelve ounce bottle of water make it do what it do. And we get to clean all the extremities that we need so we can go pray and, and, and be visible to our Lord. That boy ain't did nothing wrong in the lockout. It was the one with the camera that was wrong. The one with the phone trying to get his likes, trying to get his views, trying to get his five minutes of fame. You know, and I'm going to look for the post. I'm, I'm going to look for his post now because now this is now that you brought it up and then my guy put it out there. Now I'm going to I'm going to go and uh, do what I do best. I'm going to trash his page. Well, D- only because I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that that brother from Ethiopia, you know, was upset. But I ain't from Ethiopia. I'm from North America. So, guys, that's going to do it. Let me know what your thoughts about this in the comments below. I know that some of you guys have seen this. I understand some of these guys think it's weird and everything. But just like my man SS said, he's getting ready to go and pray to his God. He wants to be clean when he do it. So let me know what your thoughts about this in the comments below. Do you think the the cameraman was disrespectful in the fact that he put this man on camera and this and put it out here for the world to see for some likes, views, and some acclamations? Guys, listen to my like video. Hold on. What's going on, guys? I just want to stop the video right here, right quick. If you guys made it this far into the video and you guys like what you're hearing, go ahead and hit that like button for me, bro. Hit that like button. It's free. It's free. If you made it this far into the video, man, make sure you hit that like button. It's right up under the video, man. And if you guys like more content like this, consider okay y'all got two options well one but two options you can either subscribe for the channel for more and if you really want to rock with me and get the videos early make sure you join join the channel all right shout outs to all my members of the channel that rocks with your man thank you very much now let's get back to the show until next time everybody i'll come back at you with another one Peace.